So I got the JB Weld uh, cylinder uh, two-stroke engine here, and uh, I guess the question is, uh, can you make a uh, whole cylinder out of JB Weld and have the engine run? So we'll try to answer that here. So I got the JB Weld cylinder engine here again here and I grafted a Briggs lawnmower gas tank onto it. So just wanted to make a video of this uh, up and coming uh, project here, my uh, JB Weld uh, engine. Uh, so this time I decided to go with a two stroke uh, engine there. Uh, this might be a yard works motor, I don't know what exactly it is, but anyway, uh, I just wanted to show. I've only got one of these engines, and I just wanted to show uh, in case some people thought that uh, I had just uh, taken the original cylinder and JB welded up the fins and made it look uh, solid you know like this lump here it's uh, cast down at there the cylinder doesn't look all that great it's, it does have compression so hopefully it will run that's my intention is to get it running and uh, I cast a little piece of uh, steel in there by the spark plug threads because I didn't trust the JB weld to hold the, the spark plug in but uh, this is the original cylinder I'll show you here. The piston fits that one and it also fits this one. Okay, not, not the best fit but it works. So now I will reassemble it here and run it. So some of the purpose of this video is just to, uh, sorry not run it, spin it over. So it appears all I'm going to get is uh, some short pops and, like I say, the occasional 12 second or so run out of this uh, JB Weld uh, engine here. It's a two stroke, uh, kind of like a weed whacker motor. Uh, the whole the whole cylinder and uh, ports and everything are uh, JB Weld, it weighs about two pounds. Uh, the only thing that isn't uh, where the spark plug threads are in there. I cast a little piece of steel in uh, just to help uh, support the thread so the spark plug didn't blow out. But other than that, everything you see here all the way down is uh, is all JB Weld. I even ended up uh, JB Welding the ignition coil in place there. So I think what's happening, uh, it runs and then it gets too hot and it uh, starts seizing the piston. Uh, I didn't show it there in the video but when you start pulling it it starts making a squeaking noise kind of like the the pistons getting tight in the bore so uh, I believe in this uh, configuration all uh, all I can get is like 12 second runs out of it and then it gets too hot and uh, seizes up but the engines you know it's revving wide open the whole time I got the throttle set on this uh, Briggs three and a half lawnmower car but set for wide open it doesn't seem to want to run in really any other position than that so you know it's probably revving I don't know 8,000, 9,000 I don't know what these things rev no load so uh, it's being a two stroke it's it's doing a lot of burning in a short period of time so so anyway uh, hope you enjoyed the, the video there uh, it did indeed run it just doesn't run for too long at uh, one time